Yo, what's good guys? It's your boy Steven from Trip Gaming. Welcome back to the greatest channel on the planet. Anyways, I'm gonna get right into the video today. Uh, plain and simple, a 40 card deck list. A lot of you guys are asking for 40 cards. This is my 40 card list. I prefer 60. I'm gonna say this a million times over. 60 is the superior version than 40 in Pendulums because there are so many good cards to play and there's not enough space for them. It allows you to, uh, rather than playing a bunch of low scales or a certain amount, like playing 60 cards allows you to uh, basically shuffle your deck up as many times as possible and have a, such a huge assortment of low scales, high scales, mid scales that there's higher of a chance in your hand to draw a different, uh, a different number of scales. Uh, with a 40 card deck, there's a higher chance of drawing all low scales, all high scales, etc. Uh, playing a bigger deck allows you to play a bigger assortment of scales, which overall helps a deck a lot more. Because you do not want, especially with only one Electrum, you do not, not, do not want a hand uh, without uh, being able to pen summon, right? So 60 is superior than 40, but regardless, for some of you guys out there who are too conservative and don't like to think outside the box, here's a 40 card build for you guys that I believe is the most superior 40 card build out there right now. Uh, with 60, we also stick to a new game plan, which is uh, 30 to 40 one card interruptions. We don't do that much in the 40 card variant. In the 40 card variant, you just play and put out three interruptions through your extra deck, two or three. But uh, with the Electrum, you do send out a Sloth, Jack, or a Jackal. So you're almost always gonna have a one card interruption anyways through that. So it's a one card interruption through Jackal or Sloth. And then a few extra deck interruptions. And uh, I do find that Sloth, uh, there's a lot of ways to make Sloth absolutely broken. And it's unbelievably good in this meta. Especially if you sit Sloth, this is Sloth, the Sloth I'm talking about in case you guys don't know what that one is. But using Electrum to send the Sloth and add it at the end and then summon it, normal summon it, uh, it is extremely good. Anyways, I'm going to go right into the profile. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I do want to get to 15,000 ASAP. So like, comment, subscribe. And we're going to get right into the video. So... Three Wisdom My Magicians, obviously. Wisdom is incredible right now. Triple Harmonizing, you need it to get your plays to resolve. And you want to Omega first turn. You want to Omega as soon as possible. Uh, so eventually when you do Link Away Omega for nothing, like when, when it's safe to do so, like let's say turn two or turn three, it gives you access to your Electrum because you put your Electrum back. Uh, don't do it right off the bat because it's stupid, but it is important to go Omega as soon as possible. Uh, so when the Omega does die... Uh, you bring Electrum back to your extra deck using Omega's Grave Effect. So, Harmonizing is mighty important, which is also why we play 5 Pen Calls. We play 6 and 60, but 5 and 40. Uh, anyways, we play Double Janky. It's still a, a 1 card interruption. And so many, uh, every single deck right now, except for Strikers, uh, has a Light Monster you can interrupt that's like a good deck or Draco. So, uh, just jank Janky is incredibly good. Double O, 1 Poison, 1 Fang. I find that we want more Dark Spellcasters. Uh... Like po poison or not harmonizing because you can't use it with Dark Worm, but uh, Supreme King Dragon Dark Rebellion is such an underrated card that sometimes you do want more Dark Pendulum Monsters and having another Dark Level Four. Like you can't bring harmonizing with harmonizing. Sometimes you need another Level Four Dark Spellcaster in your deck to bring out with harmonizing to resolve certain things. So uh, in the future you might play Double Poison or Double Fang, uh, depending on uh, how we feel. But at the moment this is the count we're using. You still need to play Time Gazer. We play triple Dark Worm. Uh, we play triple instead of two because uh, Gumblar is still a thing. And sometimes them, uh, you'll be surprised. But sometimes them using Gumblar on you will help you if you draw Dark Worm. Like, they think that you just, they just discarded two cards from your hand. But in reality, they're going to be sending a Dark Worm and some dead card you don't need. And then Dark Worm will go onto the field, uh, replacing itself and adding a zero. So Gumblar ends up doing nothing because you equal on the field. So you go from six cards to four, right? But since Dark Worm's in the uh, grave, it goes to the field. So it's 5, it adds 0, which will be 6. So if they gumbler you with Dark Worm in hand, it's like they didn't gumbler you. You still have 6 cards on field, and one of them's on the field. So, oh sorry, 6 cards in hand, and one of them's on the field. So them gumblering you when you draw Dark Worm actually helps you. Uh, then Triple Curtain Razor. And we'll play 1-0 just because... Obviously, you don't want to draw lots of 0. I find 1 enough, but in the long run, in the grind game, obviously 2 zeros is good. In my 60 card build, I play 1, but I'm going to up it to 2. So yeah, Triple Curtain Razor, you still need to play as many Turbo Cards as possible. If they hand-trap your Electrum, it really doesn't matter. You're still going to have 2-3 Interruptions, 4 Interruptions. It doesn't matter. Uh, it just If Electrum resolves, you have 4 Interruptions. If it doesn't, you have 2 or 3. It doesn't matter if they hand-trap the Electrum. It just, you still definitely want to go into the Electrum because them hand-trapping uh, your Electrum means that they lose a card. So that means you only need to put up 2 Interruptions, and it still counts as 3 Interruptions because they're going to be playing with 5 cards. Makes sense. So it's still like, uh, if they hand-trap you, they basically help you with an Interruption. 
So you still need to ensure that they use that hand trap on the Electrum and not the actual interruption. So you still need to put out as many triple cards as possible. Uh, we played triple Chrono, triple Cerberus, double Jackal. We played triple Jackal and the other one in the 60 card build because you want one card interruptions. But this, uh, this the 41, the, this is also why 60 is better. Uh, you could, the other 20 slots are basically 21 card interruptions. And I just find the overall ratios just better with way more one card interruptions. But hey, whatever. So, uh, some For those of you who want 40, here it is. And then we play one sloth. Obviously, we want to play more sloth, but uh, you need at least one. Uh, having access to uh, sometimes if you didn't, if you make electrum without your uh, without your uh, normal summon, you send sloth, you add sloth, and then after you put up your two three interruptions, you tribute summon the sloth, and it's almost an auto win. Uh, if you uh, like vortex and sloth, is almost always an auto win. And then I also rescue hamster. Uh, I threw it into my. I have an updated sixty card version, which I'm gonna be throwing very 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 soon, but. The updated version does have triple rescue hamster. Hamster is absolutely incredible. Uh, I thought uh, with only one electrum, hamster wouldn't be as viable. But uh, if anything, it's even more viable because the deck now re revolves around Wisdom Eye a lot more. And like you end up searching Wisdom Eye with electrum almost all the time. If you happen to, uh, also if they go, a lot of people are playing Ghost Ogre because of Goki still, uh, and it destroys Goki right now. And uh, if you Ghost Ogre the electrum. If you have a, let's say you draw one of your three rescue hamsters, you go so good electrum, you just send one of the thing, one of the monsters you use to make electrum with, then you hamster add two of them back. It's like nothing happened. It's like they didn't even ogre you. You have the you have the exact same amount of cards in your hand, and they just lost cards in their hand. Especially if you use a chronograph to use the the, especially if you use chronograph to make the electrum. Uh, so if you chrono and scale, bring a time gazer, normal summon something, uh, then they will go ogre you. So you send a chrono and then hamster add back two chronograph like. Uh, Hamster is definitely incredibly good. We play one in forty, but we're gonna play. We play three in the updated sixty build, and the updated sixty build will be coming soon. Uh, in terms of spell cards, we play so thirty monster, ten spells. Uh, we play one foolish and double shrine. Uh, obviously, we play triple shrine in in sixty. Uh, we play two desires. I don't know how that desires got there. Okay, so we play two desires, double dualist alliance, triple pen call. I have been testing with playing the pen graphs. Uh, I, I'm in the sixty card build. A little update. I am playing the trap pen graph and the spell pen graph. So I will show you guys that build later. But in 40, I keep drawing the trap card with a dead hand. I, I hate it. But in uh, 60, it doesn't matter because uh, there's a very low chance of you drawing it. And it's just uh, better for when they have uh, sphere mode or random stuff to get rid of your board. Uh, just good to have a spell or trap just sitting there. Now, in terms of uh, the extra deck, we got Electrum. Land for Arcus, whatever that card is, you need both. Zephra, Metaltron, I haven't played it before, but you need it a lot of times when you Electrum, absolute. I didn't play Metaltron before because you can't even double Electrum anymore, so Metaltron became, uh, I thought was useless, but it's just there for Electrum and absolute. And uh, being able to plus one from it, it does come up a lot. Uh, we took a Nightmare Cerberus, I found it underwhelming, but you need to play Nightmare Phoenix as well as Mermaid and Borload. Uh, we played Dweller, Tornado Dragon, we added Supreme King Dragon, Dark Rebellion instead of Cerberus. Uh, it comes up a lot for game. Sometimes you can just like do 5,000 just with that alone and with whatever else you have on board. It's very easy to game with it. Exiton Knight's needed. Uh, a lot of people are forgetting about Exiton Knight. You could very easily uh, clear their board, clear their interruptions, and then Exiton them. It's absolutely hilarious. And then Narito, Absolute Vortex. Omega is MVP after Electrum right now because uh, you, Omega, you attempt Omega every time going first. And eventually when it dies, that's how you bring back your Electrum. So late game, you're going to have a second Electrum if you Omega first turn. And then Ignister. Uh, Ignister, Clear Wing. I still can't decide which one's better. Uh, but at the moment, I'm going with Ignister. And that's the extra deck. The side deck, uh, again, you, the side deck, you don't want to build until you know what's going to go on in the meta. But if I were to build a side deck, it would consist of Red Reboot. Look at this. You guys are about to see uh, Genius of the Pen God in action building a side deck right now. But I'm gonna, I play Reboot. Uh, there's going to be a lot of decks right now with uh, a lot of Floodgates. So I'm going with Triple Reboot, Triple Twister. Uh, you don't want to lose to Floodgate decks uh, like Draco, Altergeist, whatever. Even Brick Stars can play Floodgates. Uh, so you, those six just take uh, any any uh, single deck that this Floodgates. Just play those six. Draw one of them. You auto win. You just, just have to draw one and you auto win. One of the six with double desires. Like there's an extremely high chance you draw it. And then the other nine is literally just for Goki. Uh, you don't got to side for anything else. Everything else is garbage. Uh, I'd play Goki and uh, Striker maybe. Like I'd play just nine hand traps. Also, in case they like FDK you, you, you prefer uh, cards like hand traps as opposed to cards like Severe Motor or Cyber Dragon. Because 
uh, little theory there because there's so many FTKs that could go around right now because Firewall's still alive. Konami didn't even touch FTKs. So you want to be prepared for all the FTKs. So you got to play a bunch of hand traps. So the hand traps I, that I think are the best right now is, uh, so yeah, so triple droll, impermanence. Sometimes if you're so scared against, uh, uh, you know what, actually? I have an idea here. We're going to take out one Twister. We're going to play, uh, so look at this idea, right, boys? So, Ash Blossom. Okay, so Reboot stops Floodgate decks, right? Uh, reboot also, the only way you're losing to Brickstar is if they reincarnation troll you if they don't reincarnation troll you you're gonna you auto win com you completely auto win so what stops reincarnation troll triple reboot triple ash reboot you also side against heavy trap decks and ash you side against any deck that's a combo deck so just like that is multi-purpose and permanence more another multi-purpose card i understand that it doesn't you gotta wait a turn but against floodgate decks you play triple reboot triple impermanence and permanence could both negate a card but if you actually if you need it for a, fl a floodgate, you could use it for a floodgate. So, but you also use the three impermanence for combo decks. So just like that, by utilizing the right hand traps, and we're gonna play Ghost Ogre as well. You have twelve hand traps to play against good decks like Goki or Pendulum, and so you have twelve hand traps now against Goki. So they're not resolving anything with their combo. You have uh, three reboot and three Ash against Brickstar. You have three draw, three Ash against Striker. Even though like you don't you don't intend to side against any of them, but just like that you now just by siding for Goki by having twelve cards for Goki, uh, the side decks multi purpose like that. You have six against Striker against Floodgate decks. You got these six like, uh, and even if uh, like against Alter Guys, the is not just used on Floodgates. It could also be used on Multi Faker. Like uh, this is why I think uh, th th these lineups are the most. Uh, this lineup of hand traps is the most versatile. And Ogre itself is just the best hand trap against uh, Goki. It's an auto win if you pull it on the firewall. So these are the hand traps that I'm using and I think are the best. This is my side deck and this is the main and extra. I hope you guys enjoy the video. This is 40 card pendulum. I'm going to show you guys duels with both 40 and 60 in action. And uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I hope you guys like the video. See you guys in the next video. Peace.